Aloha, welcome. This is Halau na Pua Hala Kunoi Kekai. My name is Kumu Kanoi, and we are so happy to have you with us for our Ohana last Saturday. This is a part of my Ohana. This is my son, Eames Kalaniakea Williams, and he is my assistant, my kokua, and my little guy. So we are going to be starting a brand new hula today. And the hula that we're learning is called Hene Hene Ko Aka. And Hene Hene Ko Aka talks about your smile, your laughter, your joy. And I hope that this summer, you know, we're kind of in the thick of it. I hope it is a joyful one for you. I know it's been a pretty fun one for us. So, so, okay, well, jury's still out. But anyways, uh, we are going to be starting that. We'll also do our chants and prayers and basic steps as we have uh, been practicing every week on Saturdays. So if this is your first time, welcome in. Be sure to drop into the comments a little aloha to your hula brothers and sisters around the world. And we'll say hi to you in just a little bit. But for now, I think it's time. Aloha and welcome back. This is our Ohana Hula Saturday. As I mentioned, I have my son here. Behind the camera is Uncle Luke, my husband, uh, and he is making sure that we have all of our graphics and videos going. So thanks to you, babe. No pressure. Just kidding. <laughs> Oh, okay. So we are going to start our class as we always do with our anthem. Now, this was originally our national anthem because, yes, Hawaii was a nation of its own. We were independent. Uh, and so Hawaii Pono'i was written by uh, Henry Berger first. He wrote the music. He was the bandmaster of the Royal Hawaiian Band. And later, King David Kalakaua went to his friend and he said, Henry, got any songs uh, and he wanted to add lyrics to it now, this was not our first anthem this was actually I believe our fourth anthem um, and so Hawaii Pono'i was our national anthem and then now that we are a state it is our state anthem we generally only hear the first verse but here at Halau Napua Halaku no Ikekai we want to honor all of the verses so we'll do three verses and in between each one there will be a hui or a chorus, okay? So when we do our anthem, we always stand nice and tall. The term in Hawaiian is pali kekua. Pali kekua means your back stands tall like a cliff. Let's see your pali kekua action. Hey, it's getting pretty tall, that cliff. Mahina kealo, your face shines like the moon. So a nice, bright smile, and don't forget to wash your face. Okay, so here we go. Hawaii pono'i, first verse, pa. Hawaii po no i na na i ko mo i kala ni ali i ke ali i hui ma ku ala ni e ka me ha me ha e na ka wa e pa le. Cool. 
Mahalo Nui for that. In the back of my head, I don't know about you, but I could actually hear the Royal Hawaiian Band playing for us. Could you hear it? (laughs) (laughs) I went to sleep really late last night, so (laughs) maybe that's it. I'm going a little cuckoo. Our next um, thing that we do is our Oli Aloha. But before we do that, Oli Aloha is a chant of greeting. And we always want to know who we're greeting, right? We're not just saying Aloha world. Uh, We want to know exactly who might be joining us today. So I'm going to take a look at the comments and see who has made it here on Saturday morning or Saturday night for some of you. Okay. Angelica Damro from Kelemania. That's Germany for those of you that don't speak Ola Aloha Hawaii, all the way from Ger- Germany. Aloha, Angelica. Uncle Frank, Tom, joining us from Kaleponi, that's California. Auntie Mary and Uncle Frank, nice to see you. And yes, happy fourth. We also have Kian, Aloha, a Kian, and hi, Kiva, the Langan brother and sister duo from right on this island of Oahu, Kalihi Valley, one valley over. Jamie is joining us from San Diego. Aloha, a Jamie. Great to have you. Go have a taco for me. I, I just love the Mexican food in San Diego. That's what I always think of. Catherine Romanow joining us from Kelowna, BC. I hope you folks are having better weather. Aloha, no. Nice to see you. I also see, oh my gosh, there's so many. I better go faster. Okay, we're going to go, who's next? Oh my gosh, there's so many. Okay, Rosalinda from Florida. Aloha. Patricia from Massachusetts. Maike from Holland. Now, is now the time for tulips in Holland? No, I don't know. I don't know when, 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 when the things bloom all around the world. Everything's blooming here, so I don't know. Okay, we also see Charlotte from the UK all the way over there across the pond. And Mama Chun, nice to see you. I don't know if Jordan's watching, but a special shout out to Jordan and Mama Chun. Barbara from Kailua Kona. Norie from Jifu, Japan. Tomoko, ooh, Tomoko, where is Tomoko? Tomoko is from Adachi. Aloha, Tomoko. Very good. We also see Misuk on all the way in Incheon, Korea. Carol Hess, all right, and Linda, Linda Kraft from Pennsylvania, nice to see you. All right, sorry if I missed anybody, I didn't mean to, but I'm so happy. We literally have the whole world together dancing hula right now. So we send our aloha to you via this chant. Oli Aloha was written by Kumu Pilahi Paki. She was a well-known kupuna, and she actually helped to write the law of the spirit of aloha. Did you know that we have a law here in Hawaii? If you don't have aloha, you're out of here. So Oli Aloha spells out aloha one line at a time, starting from akahai, lokahi, olu olu, ha'aha'a, to ahonui, which means patience. So standing tall and make sure to address everyone in the entire world through this chant. Oli aloha. Ex- oh, yeah, well, there's people behind us. They'll have to just feel the vibrations. <laughs> Oli aloha. Pa. Akahai na hawaii lokahi akuike olu Aloha. Aloha to you and thank you so much for being a part of our hula ohana. At this time, we're going to do our prayers. And my kumu, Le Momii Maldonado, always had us sit for prayers. So we are going to do just that, noho ilalo. And our first prayer that we always start with is the Hawaiian doxology. Now, the doxology um, is based on a hymn. I think it was called Hymn 100. Uh, what a fancy name, huh? 
<laughs> but the Hawaiian doxology is actually one of the first to be listened in the Hawaiian hymnals, and it is a favorite of ours. So Hawaiian doxology, of course, the first verse is the one that everybody knows. That one was translated by Hiram Bingham a long time ago. And then, more recently, um, a Kumu Haonani Bernardino, who unfortunately has also passed, decided that the Ho'onani was too short, and so we should have a second verse. And she just happened to write music and speak Hawaiian and just decided, well, I'll just make a second verse. So this is one of my favorite things to teach. This is the first and second verse of the Hawaiian doxology, Ho'onani Pa. Ho'onani kamakua ma. for that. Hey, you sound good today. <laughs> My buddy was sick for 17 days in June, and so I'm so happy to hear your voice nice and loud. So we actually do a second prayer, and the second prayer that we do is done in the kahoahoa style, which is sort of a call and response. So I will be the alaka'i, or the leader, and Eames will be the male ho'opili, or the follower. You can choose to be with either of us. Uh, we'll do each line Twice. Okay. Eke a kua pa. Eke a no. Mahalo no. Mahalo ya oi. Mahalo ya oi. No ke ya la. No ke ya la. Amen. 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 Mahalo for that. Now, this prayer says, Dear Lord, thank you. Thank you for this beautiful day. Amen. Amen. And so, we have a beautiful day here today. It's a little bit on the cloudy side. So we say, Pehea uh, Kyanila is how's the weather? Pehea, of course, means how. Ke means the. And Anila is weather or the, you know, the phenomenon in the sky of the day. So Pehea Kyanila, how is the weather? Yes? It was like, um, Oh, it was a little bit rainy before. So right now it's cloudy. So we would say, hey, la, o, malu, malu, ke, ia. But what would we have said if it was raining, if it was a rainy day? Hey, la, ua, ke, ia. Hey, la, ua, ke, ia, if it was raining. So you're going to take one of those weather phenomenon and put it into the blank. Now, if you are in Germany or maybe Holland or France or Italy, it might be nighttime already for you. So you might... Instead of saying he la blank ke ia, you would say he po makani ke ia. What would that mean? He po makani ke ia. That would mean what? It is a what kind of a night? Windy. It is a windy night, and it was a windy night last night here. So go ahead and type into the comments what it is for you. If you know how to say it in Hawaiian, or just tell us how the weather is. We're always wondering how people are doing. Is it hot? Is it snowing unexpectedly in your part of the world. I heard about something like that on the news. Pretty crazy. So, pehea kianila, he la blank keia, or he po blank keia. Okay? 
All right. Our next chant that we do is actually called Ealae, and it talks about rising up the sun. So the, r the sun rises in Hikina, which is the east, which for us is kind of over in this direction over here. So we will do Ealae the first time just chanting, okay? And then we're going to do it three times all together. Ready? Hands come together in kind of a cupped formation, and we're going to do a pattern of cup, Cup, clap. Cup, cup. E a la e. Here we go. E a la e. Kala i ka hiki na i ka moana ka moana ho ho nu pi i ka leva ka leva nu u i ka hiki na ai a kala e a la e. Hana ho. One more time. Go. E a la e. Kala i ka hiki na i ka moana ka moana ho ho nu pi i ka leva ka leva nu u i ka hiki na ai a kala. E a la e. Last time. Go. E a la e. Kala i ka hiki na i ka moana ka moana ho ho nu pi i ka leva ka leva nu u. I ka hiki na ayakala e ala e. Very good. Okay, the sun is solidly up around the world, <laughs> except where it's night. That would be weird. <laughs> our next chant that we do helps us to kind of calm ourselves and collect our thoughts to be ready to learn. It's sort of a meditative um, mantra because you say the words e ho mai over and over and over again. That is the name of this chant. The word ho doesn't mean ho, wow. Ho means to give, to grant, or to receive. It's kind of a back and forth thing. So e ho mai is please let us receive all of this knowledge, all of this craziness that Kumu is spouting out at you on the internet. I'm ho mai, and I'm give ho aku. I'm actually giving it to you. What you do with it, that's up to you. So. Here we go. Eho mai. Another one we do three times. Eho mai pa. Eho mai ka ike mai luna mai e o na me a huna no e o na me le eho mai eho mai eho mai e. for that that's a great one for practicing holding your breath for multiple lines and we started kind of low that time but you got it that's amazing <laughs> like i'm not impressed mom mm -hmm. all right we're moving right along after a whole mind we usually move on to work with our ipu am i correct Ipu. Okay, so our ipu, of course, is the hollowed out gourd, and it is a cousin to the pumpkin, maybe the kabocha, whatever kind of squash you have in your neck of the woods, it's a cousin to that. Uh, this is the ipu ava ava, so the Hawaiian ipu, um, it's actually very hard to grow it here in Hawaii because we have a lot of pests. Uh, so many of our ipu are grown in California and Mexico now, but the ipu ava ava is not edible. It actually has kind of a sour taste for humans, and that's why it's called the ipu ava ava. So go ahead and grab your ipu. If you don't have... How is it not edible if, it, if you know how it tastes? I mean, it, it doesn't taste good. It's edible, but... What do you mean for that? Like, you want to eat dirt? It doesn't taste good, but I guess you could. Do what you do. Do what you got to do, he says. If you want to survive, ipu alva alva is it. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? So this mele was actually taught to me at 
the um, Explorations program, which I believe is happening this year, Kamehameha is still doing their Explorations program for students. Um, it's partially online and partially in person. I know that some of our ohana, the offers, are participating in Explorations this year. So, ho'omaika'i, I hope you have a great time learning about our Hawaiian culture, and maybe you'll learn this song. Mele ipu heke ole, about making the ipu pa. Hana wau ika ipu heke ole, scoop it out. Ika ipu heke ole, sand it. Hana wau ika ipu heke ole, dip in the ocean. Ika papa, hana no eo, hana ho. Hana wau ika ipu heke ole, ika ipu heke ole. Hana wau ika ipu heke ole, ika papa hana no eo. And stop. Very good. So the steps of making the ipu like we just demonstrated is chop off its head, dig out its guts, sand off all of its imperfections, and then we dip it in the ocean so that the buggies won't eat it because they don't know the difference between good tasting things and bad. Yes? <laughs> is that why? <laughs> so there's all different types of ipu you might see. I kind of have a thing for ipu. There's different shapes and sizes, just like us, just like people. And they do have some human characteristics to them. Mine has a low, low, low voice. How's yours? A little bit higher, but actually pretty er earthy sounding. Earthy. <laughs> the next thing we're going to do is practice our beats on the ipu. So there are three main beats and one sort of bonus beat. Let's do the bonus beat first, which is called ka eke loloi. That's a hard one to say, ka eke loloi. So for the ka eke loloi, this is actually what you'll hear. It sounds sor sort of like a fluttering sound. If you watch the Merry Monarch um, for the Kahiko night or during the Miss Aloha Hula, you probably heard a lot of that. A lot of times the kumus will do like this while they're waiting for the dancers to get into place. Hurry up, hurry up, get into line, fix your line, smile, shoulders, stand up straight. That's sort of what's happening right there. So that ka'ekiloloi is that just an extra beat. Now, the main beats that we're gonna do are the next three. The pa is a combination of u hitting on the ground and te tapping on the side. So we're gonna do that combination of u and te over and over, okay? Ready, set, hand on the side it goes ooh te 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 and stop very good so that was the pa beat i know some of you are getting very familiar with it so the next beat is called kahela and the kahela is going to be the double beat so we're going to hit once on the pad for ooh and then te te two hands with the, the hand on the side very good. And it's going to go kind of fast. So it's going to go ute te, ute te. Ready, set, here we go. Ute te, ute te, ute te, ute te, ute te, ute te, and stop. Very good. So that was the pa and the kahela. The third beat is called the cool, cool. Crazy. Like I've heard this joke so many times. Am I supposed to laugh? Okay. <laughs> cool, cool. It's gonna be a u u u te te hitting three times on the pad and then te te. Ready? Set. Here we go. It's a u u u te te um u u u te te cool cool. And last one and stop. Right there. Great. So all of our our chants are basically a combination of these beats that we've done right now. If you were listening um, to the chanters at Mary Monarch, if you had the pleasure of watching, you can always go back and watch the replays of those. Uh, you probably heard some very intricate patterns. So we're gonna build up to a kind of intricate one today. So let's start off with something simple. Pa Kahela. We're gonna alternate between the single beat and the double beat, okay? Ready, set, here we go. A pa. Kahela, pa, kahela, pa, kahela, last one, pa, kahela. Okay, let's take that same thing and flip it on its head. We're gonna do kahela, pa, alternating. Ready, set, here we go. Kahela and a pa, kahela and a pa, kahela, pa, 
Kahela and stop. That's good. Okay, let's add them all together now. I want pa kahela kuku, pa kahela kuku. Okay, so we're gonna work our way down the list, starting from pa. Ready, set, here we go. A pa kahela kuku, a pa kahela kuku, and stop. Nice, okay, now that wasn't the most complicated one. Now I want you to keep that pa kahela kuku. We're gonna put that at the end of our beat, okay? At the beginning of our beat, we're gonna do three kahela and one pa. So it's gonna go kahela, 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 pa, pa, kahela, kuku, u, u, te, te. Okay? Kahela, 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 pa. Ready, set, here we go, kahela. Kahela, kahela, and a pa, a pa, kahela, cuckoo. Not bad. That's have the same beat too. Oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry about that. Let's do this time. We're gonna take the beginning part of that and we're gonna flip it. So it's gonna be pa, 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 kahela, mm -hmm. then pa, kahela, cuckoo. Then kahela, 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 pa, pa, kahela, cuckoo. Okay? Okay, good luck. This is the hardest one for today. Ready? Sorry, pa, 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 kahela. Ready? Set. <laughs> Here we go. A pa, a pa, a pa, and kahela. Back to pa. Kahela and kuku. Now kahela. Go kahela, 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 and a pa, a pa, kahela, and kuku. Weeha! Nice job. If you did anything, if you hit it on the ground one time, High five to you. Good job. <laughs> All right. Eames is going to put away his ipu right now, and I'm going to pa'i for him. Now, pa'i is the term for hitting the ipu. My role is actually ho'opa'a. Ho'opa'a means that I hold on to the beat. I hold the power. And he also holds the power because he's just so cute. Okay. So he's going to be doing our basic steps. What's that? That's good. Oh, I can move back. Yeah, I move. I move so that Eames can dance. Okay. Can you see me now? Okay. So we're going to go over our basic steps that we're going to need for our hula coming up. Now, the first one that we're going to do is a very, very basic. It's sometimes just called the vamp. But in Hawaiian, we call it the kaholo. So you'll see, um, there we go. There's the kaholo. And... Um, for our style here at Halau Napua, Halakuno Wikekai, just how Eames did, hands go on your waist, fingertips to the front, and thumb tips hidden behind your waist. Fingers together, no spider hands, so we don't get this spread out action on our waist. Shoulders back, feet slightly apart, and a slight bend in your knees. Kaholo, step to the right together, right tap, left together, left tap. That's a one, two, three, Four, one, two, three. Very good. To the right and to the left and to the right and to the left. Kaholo right, kaholo left and cool. Now, you might have noticed that Eames is moving in this direction when you're supposed to go to the right. He's actually mirroring you. So whatever you see him do on your computer or phone or iPad, that's the way that you're supposed to go. Step to the right first and then to the left after that. Okay, so let's try one more time. Bending knees. Kaholo. To the right together. Right tap. Left. Very good. All right. And left. Wow, even a smile. That's awesome. Right together. Right. Left together, left tap, right together, and left and cool. Now this is the bread and butter. This is the bulk of our choreography. You'll mostly use this step in, in many of the hulas that we teach here on our Ohana Hula Saturday class because it's one of the most important basics of the hula. Now, a second most important is this one. It's called the kao, and the kao is just a sway. So you're still going to have that slight bend in your knees, and your hips are going to push to the right, and left can you come over just a little bit so they can really see our hips well okay so yes <laughs> okay and our style is very flat footed so you'll notice that Eames entire foot is gonna stay touching the ground they're not gonna be lifting up at the toes or the heels or in the middle if that were possible I don't know that would be weird it's always possible 
Cottle sway. Push right, left, right, left, <laughs> right, left. Cottle right, cottle left, right, left. Very good. Keep going. Back to the kaholo step. Right together, right tap. Left. Very good. Right. And a nice soft bend in your knees is all you need. Kao and sway. Push right, left. Right, left. Right, left. Kaholo. Right. And left. Kaholo. Right. And left. And cool. Hey, very good. Now, the next step that we're going to do is the kavelu. Kavelu. Now, kavelu is named after a type of grass because the grass was very long and in the wind, it would go side to side and side to side. So the kavelu is a swaying of the hips, but you're going to step the right foot. You're going to take this right foot and you're going to go forward with it. And you're going to push that hip. See that See that grassy hip swishing out there? Okay. And then the feet come together. And then the left foot is going to step back. And then you have another cavelu sway and together. Okay. So we're going to go forward on the right foot and back on the left. You should really see what's happening behind the camera here because it is the best part of this whole show. Okay. Ready? Besides Ian. Right foot forward, cavelu going forward and together and back. Together, forward, right, back, left, forward, right, back, left, forward, right, and back, left. Yeah, you kind of watch that because there's a little bit of a delay. Okay, so now we're going to put all those three things together, kaholo, kao, and kavdalu. We have one more step that we need to learn, but we'll get to that in a moment. Bend your knees, hands on your waist, kao, sway. Ooh, she started with a ka. Oh, really trying to screw you. No, I'm not like a bunch of shots, but that's true. Kaholo, right together, right top. Nice bend in the knees, soft hips. Kao sway. Kaholo, <laughs> right together, right top. Don't distract him. Kavelu, forward and back. Forward, right, back, left, forward, right, and kaholo, right, to the right, and left, and right, and left, and cool. Very good. Okay, now, can you handle one more? Yeah, no problem. The next step is kind of related to the kavelu. It's called the O. Oh, the O is going to be a side-facing hip thrust. So take that same Kavelu motion, but you're going to turn your body towards the left wall over there. Put your weight on your left foot. Oh, yeah, turn there. You can go ahead and turn. Yep. And then your right foot is going to push forward. Okay, so your right foot is going to cross and go wing and then turn. And then you're going to come this way with the other foot. Okay, so right foot, turn, left foot. Foot, turn, right, turn, left, and turn. Very good. Okay, so that's going to be called your O step. Let's throw it all together, put it all in the pot, and uh, we'll take away the words because we want to see this in action. All four steps. Kaholo to the right and left. And it is scientifically proven that if you smile and have a little more fun with it, you'll be a better hula dancer. Science says so. <laughs> Ka'o sway. Right, left. Very good. Ka'holo. Ka'velu, forward and back. Right goes forward and left goes back. And right. And kaholo to the right. And now, oh, turning side. Right foot. That was good. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Did I mess you up because I said the words? That was my fault. Sorry about that. Bend your knees. Kaholo. Right together, right tap. Oh. Good. Kaholo. Kaosue. Kaholo. 
Cavello. Cavello forward back. Forward and Cavello. And very good. Nice job, everybody. Give yourself a high five. That's what that looks like. Okay. At this time, I'm going to put away my Ifu. If you're still playing Ifu with me, thank you for joining me. But let's put it away right now. And we're going to get into our hula for today. So, our hula this week is called Hene Hene Ko'aka. And Hene Hene Ko'aka is a pretty well known traditional song. And I wanted to share with you a little bit of the background about this. Um, now, Hene Hene Ko'aka is kind of important to me because my um, dad's group, he has a, a group of musicians, they're called Coin Street. Uh, <laughs> and this is one of their, their classic songs and so we're actually going to be using a recording of theirs yes a recording of theirs a live recording it was a <laughs> right they didn't copyright it and they put it on my ipad so i guess i get to use it so uh we're going to be doing that also some of you folks saw that i posted earlier this week that eames and i are starting to learn steel guitar that's the key ka kila and our very first song that we're learning is so hopefully one day, Eames will be able to bust out his steel and play it for you, and you'll get to know this song. But I wanted him to be able to know the song that he's playing, so I decided to teach this mele for the Ohana Hula Saturday. Hope you don't mind. So, Henehenekoaka actually tells a story about the streetcars here in Honolulu. So I believe we have, um, let's see, a map? Yes, okay, you stand on that side so you can see it. We don't want to chop off your head. Okay, so this is a map of the city of Honolulu. And this map actually comes from around the time that this song was written. Here in Honolulu, we actually did have a fabulous, world-renowned, award-winning rapid transit system before this crazy thing called the rail. So there were six streetcar lines and a whole network of buses for people to get around town. And there wasn't even really much town to get around to, not like we have now. But you could get pretty much anywhere that you wanted to go using these streetcars. So our, our story is actually about some Kamehameha schools students. So you see that K over by you on the map? Can you sort of point to it? Yes, thank you, Vanna Eames. So uh, <laughs> that K is kind of where Kamehameha Schools was located at the time. Now, we know now that Kamehameha is up on the hill at Kapalama, but that was not the original location of Kamehameha Schools. It actually started at Bishop Museum and sort of moved around that Kalihi lower Kapalama area before moving up to the hill. So back in the 1920s, right around the time that the boys' school and the girls' school were combined into one, there were some friends who maybe wanted to be more than friends, uh, and they decided for one of their um, weekends, what they were going to do, maybe on a Saturday, was go for a ride on the brand new streetcar. There was a new line that had just been put out, and they decided this is going to be the exciting thing to do today. We're going to spend the entire day riding the streetcar. It's like if we, I said, let's just jump on the Circle Island bus and go for a tour. So they decided to do this, and they jumped on the streetcar, and they trekked on down. They made a couple of stops. They stopped at Kevalo, right, um, in, in the Kaka'ako area. So right over here, you see the Kevalo Basin. They went through Kaka'ako. They also went to Waikiki, which is a little bit more on thi this side right here, right there, Waikiki. And then they made their way up. Malka to Kapohulu. So this, this song tells the story of those streetcars. Now, you're probably wondering, she keeps saying this word streetcar. What is a streetcar? So here we have some of the, the streetcars that you might have seen. This one on the top says Fort Street and Punoho. So we, you see, yeah, you could have taken this streetcar to get to school. Yeah, and then this one down here, um, I'm not exactly sure which one it is, but you can see some of the detail on that. The people who worked for the rapid transit were so proud of what they did. We actually have a number Ooh. of songs written for Kika a rapid transit kaualoha. Have you heard that song before? Yeah. HRT, the Honolulu okay. Rapid Transit. So let's take a look at one other set of pictures. 
These ones are colored, so you can see it was a red color with that golden top. Kind of reminds you of trolleys, um, but you can see the other types of transportation that were available. I think the one on the top, they might be waiting to get onto a ship actually, or barge or something. Um, so you see there was boats, there were horse-drawn carriages, and there were some little buggies around that time. So it's just kind of cool to see that we were so advanced. We had public transportation, and it was in high demand because people needed to be on the move and to see this town. So this is our rapid transit. Now, before we go on, I wanted, ooh, I wanted to show you um, how this melee is actually connected, oops, sorry, I'm probably blocking my mic, um, connected to the melee that we learned last month. So remember last month we did poo poo he knew he knew. Poo poo he knew he knew was written by Nona Beamer. Do you recognize that name? We had her picture. Now, Nona Beamer is actually in this picture. She is, if I can, she's right, she's right here. She's the third one in. You see my finger pointing? This is Nona Beamer. So Nona Beamer wrote Pupu Hinu Hinu, and she put the music to Kahuliaku. Now, that is her husband next to her. But next to Nona Beamer on, on her side, the, the furthest two people away from us, Louise and Pono Beamer, her parents, they were two of the people on this streetcar ride. And they were part of the gang that came up with this whole story. It said that when they were on this streetcar ride, they were still dating. They were students at Kamehameha schools, and Pono thought it would be a great idea to bring Louise with him along on this ride. Now, as they were bumping along, it was kind of a bumpy ride, <laughs> just as it was bumping along, he reached his arm over as they do and pulled her close to him, thinking that it would help her so that she wouldn't bump off. But she was so shocked by this brazen, bold move of his that she jumped off the streetcar. She was so embarrassed that he would dare to put his, his arm around her. And uh, so she jumped off the streetcar. Now, he lured her back because he said, hey, hey, don't you remember? We're going on this streetcar to my auntie, my auntie Mariah's house. She made beef stew for us. Well, that beef stew must have been good because she jumped back onto the streetcar and continued on where they did have beef stew and travel the rest of the route. Um, the students that traveled with them continued to write verses everywhere they went. So they wrote a verse for Waikiki, a vo verse for Kapuhulu, and there are probably some verses that just didn't get remembered because they were writing this song for the entire trip. So one of the things that I'm going to challenge you to do this week is to write a verse about a place that is special to you, uh, whether it's here on the islands or somewhere else. And I'll teach you how to do that uh, maybe next week. But just know that that's coming up. We're going to write our own verses to Hene Hene Ko'aka so we can add to this streetcar ride. Okay? <sighs> it's a lot. I know. I just love learning about the stories, don't you? Yeah, I guess, Mom. Okay, so let's start the hula now. You come on this side. Okay, so pauku ekahi, our very first verse. Um, by the way, the word pauku means verse. Ekahi means one. So pauku ekahi, this is verse number one. Hene hene ko aka says, I love your laughter. You have the best laugh. So your left hand is going to go across your chest and your right hand is going to go from your mouth. Hene hene, and then left hand. Ko aka, and your joyful smile. Ko le a le a pa a pa ha, sorry, pa ha. Okay, ready? From your mouth. Henne henne ko a ka. Ko le a le a pa ha. That's it. Now, I tried to model my choreography for this um, in the Beamer style. And the Beamer style of hula, uh, that, that family that I showed you, is very simple. It's not elaborate or crazy. So you won't see too many fancy motions, just simple, okay? So ready, henne, henne, set, here we go from in the mouth. Henne, henne, ko, a, ka, ko, le, a, le, a, pa, ha. Now the third, sorry, ko, le, a, le, a, pa, ha, thank you. My gosh, what would I do without you? To your cheeks and then flippy dip out. <laughs> flippy dip. He, me, a, ma, a, So this third line and the fourth line, for you and I. 
those two lines are going to repeat in all of the verses, okay? So here's what you're going to do. Your right hand is going to open. Hey, me, amo, amo, and then open. E then you're going to bring your hands forward. For you and I. Simple, right? So simple. This is a great one for beginners. Now, hey, me, amo, amo means it's our usual thing. It's not anything fancy. It's just what we do, right? Like us. We just teach hula every Saturday morning. It's just what we do. Heme ama mawia for you and I. This is our this is our thing. This is our shtick. Okay? So right hand, here we go. Heme ama mawia for you and I. Okay? And even though it's a regular thing, I think there's a joy in that, right? So they're saying this is just what we do. This is what we love to do. Okay, let's go henne henne from your mouth. Ready, here we go. Henne henne ko aka. Ko le a le a pa ha. Heme ama ama iha. For you and I. Then your vamp is going to be a very traditional vamp. Right hand is going to lock into the side. Left hand is going to go side and front and side and henne henne. Henne henne ko aka. Ko le a le a pa ha. Heme ama ama iha. For you and I. Ba dum bum ba da 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 How was that? Okay, I'm going to put on some music now. This is actually the recording, live recording, of Coin Street playing this hula. Hene hene ko aka. Oh, from right here, from our backyard, I think. Oh, got to turn on the speaker again. Hello. My bad. Okay, here we go. That was it. Sorry. So let's start with a little instrumental. I'm going to work on, on cutting it up so it's just perfect for hula. But this nice instrumental gives you a feel of their bands. My dad, uh, Melvin, is on slack key guitar. My uncle Dean on upright bass. And Uncle Les on ukulele. So mahalo to Coin Street for this. Hula. Hene hene. Right hand from your mouth. Smiley. Oh, I didn't teach you these feet, did I? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're probably like, what is going on? Thanks for going with it. Just do the hands. I know, it was just couple though. Henne, henne, mouth out. This is our thing that we always do for you and I. All right. Sorry. I heard the music and I was like, I got to just dance. Okay. So you'll notice that in this hula um, and in the words to this, there are English words mixed in for you and I. And I've mentioned this before, but Hawaiians loved to code switch inside of their songs because it was proving to them, ah, I can write a song in Hawaiian and switch to English without even taking a breath. Yeah. So now let's add the feet. <laughs> As you saw, spoiler alert, it starts with kaholo. Okay, so we're gonna holo to the vamp to the right and hene hene from your lips, it goes right. Hene hene ko a ka cheeks. Ko le a le a pa ha. Okay, now, he me ama ama, you're gonna turn towards the side wall and we're gonna get that o step. Ready, go. He me ama ama i. Then forward on the right. For you and I. Okay, so it's kind of like a box step. You're going to go side, side, front, and back. Okay? So let's just do that feet. Ready, set, here we go. A right foot and a left foot and a right foot and a left foot. That's it. Okay, so now let's do... Hey, me, ama, ama. Right hand is going to open while your right foot goes. Ready, set. Here we go. 
He me ama ama ia forward for you and I holo ba da 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 da. Henne henne from your mouth. Henne henne ko a ka. Ko le a le a pa ha. He me ama ama ia. For you and I, and holo da 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 da. Take it away on the steel. Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Get ready. Let's go for a ride. Holo first. Hene hene. This is what we do. This is how we do it. For you and I. Remix. Hene hene. One more time. This time you sing. Hene hene. Great job, everybody. So that was verse one of Hene Hene Kowaka. I want you to see there are actually six verses, but not mm -hmm. to worry, because take a look at second verse. Second verse talks about the Kawila Makeneki, or Kaawila Makeneki, and that is the machine car. That's the street car, right? And it says, it moves my body. And then the third and fourth line, same. For you and I. Then, third verse. Check out. We're going to go to Kaka'ako, get some of that pee pee stew. Um, um, um. And then, third and fourth. For you and I. Fourth verse. We're going to go to Waikiki and we're going to o o i ke kai. We're going to go for a little what? Bath? Yeah. Swim. Yes. We're going to take a swim at Waikiki and then Heme Ama Amo. It's the same, same again. For you and I, verse 5 is Kapahulu. We're going to go up Mauka, Kapahulu, and we're going to have some Lipoa. Remember the Lipoa from last time? What is Lipoa? Oh, they, they sell it up, Kapahulu. They pick it down and then they take it up to, um, you know, whatever, Haile's Market or something. <laughs> so they are going to go eat some seaweed at somebody's house. And hey, me ama amo. And then last verse. Mm -hmm. Guess what? You already know that part. Exactly. So you actually know most of this song. Every week we'll introduce you to a new verse. Maybe tell you a little bit about the place that they're visiting. Maybe a good recipe for beef stew. Beef Shall we do a cooking show? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we can make a cooking show. Yes. Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed jumping on the streetcar with us. That was Hene Hene Ko Aka. We'll be back every week in Saturday uh, on Saturdays um, for the month of July to complete this song. But it's a simple one. If you have friends that you think would like to join us, it's not too late. This is an easy one, a great one for beginners to start with. So please invite them, share this video with your friends. We hope to have even more of you folks join us next week. We good? We good. Until next time, keep dancing. Ahui ho.